what's good everybody all right so let's just jump right into it good to go. let's get these bastards so far I am having a good week so far um, I was kind of hoping that I would cap this week off with uh, with three thousand, but um, it's not it's not going to happen. And wonder why it's not going to happen is it's not because that I can't get it there on time and you know I can't cap it off, but it's because the place that I'm going to is closed on the weekends. My low don't deliver until Monday morning at 6 o'clock I was kind of hoping that I can probably t-call this and get another load that keeps me running but unfortunately my fleet manager the guy that he is he always pre-plans me and, and I'm I'm so glad that he does that in this scenario instead of just t-calling it at the at the terminal I gotta hold on to the load until Monday because the next load that I got don't pick up until Monday. I have to wait out the weekend. Now, I'm only maybe about two, two and a half hours, three hours away from my initial uh, drop, which is in Min uh, Minneapolis. I I knew that I wasn't gonna go straight to the to the uh, receiver and sit there for the entire weekend. So I have to figure out something to uh, figure out something so that I can probably get some entertainment in while waiting for uh, while waiting till Monday to drop this load. So some of you guys out here would probably say, hey, uh, just go straight to the receiver and just and just wait it out. But you, you got to understand something. Right now it's 10 o'clock. Uh, about the time I get to Minneapolis, it will be about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. So I got the rest of the day Saturday, all day Sunday until Monday morning at 6 o'clock. I'm not going to sit at a shipper for that long. I'm not going to do that. So, here's where the trip planning comes into play. Now, I have several options to, uh, to do what I want to do. Now, I've never been to Mall of America. Never been there. And I want to go. So this gives me a great opportunity to go to Mall of America and check out what's all the hoopla's about. indoor theme park this is a true indoor theme park that bullshit that we got in cleveland that comes every year uh at the is center don't have shit on this y'all drivers see what I'm saying guys this is what you got to do this is what you got to come out here and experience you know they say uh, you're gonna see the world and all like that they didn't say yeah you're gonna see it at you know 55 65 63 miles an hour 
trying to debate on which calendar I should get. Now I said I was going to get a calendar for the truck so you know while I'm out I can keep track of the date even though I got one on my phone but I'm going to go with this boy right here Call of Duty. Look at that. Look at that on the back. Big Call of Duty fan. But I also see I'm not a Walking Dead fan but I do know somebody that is and I think they would like this. They probably would like this very much. Now I'm trying to think, should I get should I get this one right here? Should I get this one? Or should I get the comic book one? Now she's a big fan of the comic book too. I'm trying to debate. Should I get this one? Or should I get this one? I think I should get this one. I, I, I should get the comic book one. Because she's a she's a big fan of the comic book. So I'm gonna get this. It is six different lids in this mall alone. I went to the first one, picked out the hat that I want, but now I'm here at the second lids right there. About to go in there and see what they got. Here at the lids. The third one. There's six of them in here, man. Six. I don't think I can. I don't think I can make it over to the other three. But I think I'm gonna stop anyway because I found what I was looking for. There it is. It's the Cavaliers Nick Cap. Good experience. I like this place. Uh, definitely, definitely going to come back because I got to get a Minnesota Vikings hat. I already got the Minnesota Timberwolves, so I got to get the Vikings. Yeah. 